One of my very favorite features of the new Smart Ink uh, right now is the Smart Ink Document Viewer. And this is just a Windows only one just now. I'm hoping this will be available on the Mac side really soon. What this allows us to do is to open up PDF files in a program other than Adobe and we can view and annotate and work with PDF files with the digital ink and the digital ink will stay with our document and then we can save that digital ink right into the PDF document. So I'm going to model that now. For most of us our default when we open up a PDF document would be Adobe. So if I double click on this it's going to open up an Adobe PDF which is great but unfortunately it's just going to be normal smart ink that would uh, work over top rather than giving me ink that I can scroll and save in the document. So to open it up in the Smart Ink Document Viewer, I can right click on this button and, or on my document, and I'm going to go Open With, and I'm going to open it up with the Smart Ink Document Viewer. And this is going to look similar but a little bit different. So what this allows me to do is to grab some ink tools, just like that, and I can begin to ink on this document. And then when I begin to scroll, my ink stays on the document. So lots of us are using photocopiers to take some old work and convert it to PDF. And now we have the option to be able to work with our digital ink and you can write right on the document and you can then save this as part of digital ink. So this one for instance is just a checklist and so you could do some self-evaluation with the students in this respect. So okay we'll consider how actions affect each other and you can write a comment work on in term two. So you could do some group or class self-evaluation using this particular example, but PDFs are not limited to uh, a rubric or a checklist. It can be used for anything. So now my ink travels with the document, and then I would have the option if I hit the save button, it'll ask me to save it with a new file name. So I could save it as um, unit one checklist class review January 2013 or something like that. Again, that's personal preference, how you want to save that. And it will save it embedded with this ink and then you will be able to come back and refer to it with that digital ink. This is also great if you're working um, collaboratively you know, as a staff to be able to work through documents that have just been emailed PDF. Uh, it gives you lots of flexibility to then make the option for collaborative work in uh, applications outside of notebook. So the Smart Ink Document Viewer is one of my very favorites. So again, that was a right click and open with, or you have the option at the bottom of that drop down menu to choose the default program, or from your start button you can click default programs, and then you have the option to make it the default so that whenever you open up a PDF, it will open it up in the Smart Ink Document Viewer icon uh, option there. So originally during the installation you get asked that question, but a lot of people are keeping their Adobe as their default. But if you change your mind, you can always go back and do that. So that's the use of the Smart Ink Document Viewer on the Windows machine. It's a fabulous tool.